Last time on the fast lane truck, I took my 2003 Hummer H2 off road in snowy conditions on ice and rocks, and the truck surprised me even with these mud terrain tires. But this time, it's all about towing. In this video, I'm gonna show you what it's like to tow with an old truck and also how slow it is. I'll do a zero to 60 with a trailer. Well, let's see what this big six liter V8 can do. You guys know everything about this engine. This is a older six liter Vortec. It's a commercial grade heavy duty engine. Yes, it produces what around 316 horsepower, 360-ish pound-feet of torque, and it's made it to a four-speed automatic. It's been a very reliable rig for me. I don't put a lot of miles on this H2, but zero engine problems, zero transmission problems. Although there is an issue towing, and we're gonna find that out really soon. This four speed, which was used for many, many years in GM SUVs and trucks, uh, doesn't like to shift very uh, quickly. The trailer I'm towing today is my 2004 Taiga 22 VE ski boat, and it's been wrapped for the winter and it's time to get it summarized and ready and with all the equipment on the boat it weighs close to 6,000 pounds but today I don't have a lot of stuff in there so it's probably closer to about 5,700 pounds which should be just fine for the Hummer H2 which can tow upwards of 8,000 pounds or at least that was the maximum tow rating here's a tow haul mode button really easy to get to it's right next to the height control to raise the vehicle for off-roading and also the traction control button and here's where I put the aftermarket brake controller this is a Tekoncha Prodigy it has a manual override right here and it's pretty easy to get to sometimes my knee comes really close to it but I don't have any other options this is kind of the only place I could put it On the last episode, I asked you guys for some help. I am upgrading my head unit here to this touchscreen, and you guys responded in a very big way. I really appreciate your comments and suggestions and feedback. I did purchase an interface. I'm gonna be wiring that in very, very soon, and hopefully I'll get sound and everything else working properly. As you can see right here, this truck has a full-time four-wheel drive system, so I cannot switch to too high in this truck. And I am running in four high. If I could, maybe I would get some better fuel efficiency, but this is more of an off-roader rather than towing machine. This boat trailer has an extendable tongue, so I, when I store the trailer in the boat, I can fold it and then manually put it into place using these big pins to lock it down. Uh, yes, it's really nice to have that camera, rear view camera to help me. Here's my cheap backup camera in action. I can back up to the trailer, I can see it nice. Not active guidelines, but still, at least I can see my hitch and the trailer. I'm using a height adjustable hitch, but the Hummer, you may be hearing it right now, it's actually using air to level itself out. When you have a self-adjusting suspension, sometimes you need to adjust your height accordingly on your hitch. I have other footage of my boat, even in the water, so uh, let's play it now. But for this time, I'm just gonna write TFL truck on the cover. Alright, let's get on the road and finally see how this thing accelerates um, with a trailer attached to it. It's easy to get spoiled by a new truck, 
some of the latest, especially GM trucks, they have really powerful V8 engines, 10 speed automatic transmissions, um, you know, over 400 horsepower, 420 horses in the new 6.2 liter V8. And the smoothness and the power delivery of those trucks is really, really great. So what is it like to tow with an old truck? Well, this H2, I call it a truck because it's based on a truck platform. I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, it's just a Tahoe or it's just a Suburban underneath. Well, it's got the bone, it's got a frame. It's related to the Silverado and the GMC Sierra. And here I'm gonna do a little impromptu zero to 60 and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. This is full throttle, guys. Uh, that was 5500 RPM. The truck is really trying. There it is, I have it. 35.77, 35 seconds. I think that is probably the slowest acceleration time we've ever had with a trailer even. Uh, but that just shows you that the Hummer H2, it's not a quick truck, it, does, it wasn't meant to be. It was meant to be an off-road rig, four-wheel drive truck that could do a lot of things well. Yes, it won't accelerate onto the highway very fast with a trailer, but it is a really comfortable ride. But hauling this big boat with a big parachute on the back of it, with this shrink wrap, it's a slow and ponderous occasion. All right, here I am coming to a stop sign. Let's see if I have great shifting. Uh, no, nothing. The transmission is not downshifting for me. It's not trying to slow me down. All right, I'm getting onto the highway, I-25. Whoa, okay. <laughs> a lot of noise, but not a lot of speed. I'm uh, going about 45 right now, trying to merge. Yeah, this beast is just too heavy. You know, the truck weighs about 7,000 pounds the way it is. The boat and the trailer weigh, what, 5,700 pounds? Um, yeah, it's a lot of weight. Big 35-inch tall tires. None of this says very efficient and fast towing, <laughs> especially with this transmission. Today, I also have two, not one, but two General Motors engines. Of course, I have the six liter under the hood of the H2, and I also have a GM 350 V8 in the boat. That's the engine that's propelling the boat. Um, funny thing, uh, the two engines are about the same power. Uh, the 2004 5.7 liter in the boat makes around 315 horsepower. This big six liter heavy duty engine makes about the same. So <laughs> I guess if I have trouble with this engine, I'll just take the engine out of the boat, throw it under the hood of this, and it will be done. After doing some accelerations and pretty hard driving with a trailer, here's my average 9.6. It's a little bit lower than I'm used to when I tow. Uh, but I think I'm just pushing this truck really hard right now. The transmission temp is coming up, but holding. This is, I think, as high of a transmission temp that I've ever seen. So the truck is working hard, but it's maintaining temperature and still doing well. Well, there you have it, probably the slowest zero to 60 time with a trailer that we've ever had a TFL truck. Almost 36 seconds to accelerate, but the old H2 still does it. It doesn't matter if it's slow, it still tows the boat. It got me here about 15 miles away. And uh, would I take it on a long mountain journey with a trailer? No. Would I take it on a shorter one to the lake? You betcha. And guys, go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world Hummer H2, but also all kinds of other truck reviews.
Thanks.